Okay, I kind of like do a thumbnail where I'm like holding a bunch of the products. How do I do this? Oh my god. Is this a good thumbnail? I don't know. Okay, I have to do like a shocked face. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been doing well. I get a lot of comments from my community asking me to do more makeup content and kind of just show you guys various makeup looks. I'm sorry to disappoint, but I am not a makeup girly myself. I do this one look every single day and I basically use the exact same products. But then I started thinking that it would be really fun to do a video where I show you guys various products that I use every single day of my life and I swear by, i.e. my holy grail products. And so with that said, let's dive right in. Okay, so this first product might seem a little bit underwhelming to start the video with and it is Blistix Lip Medics. And I know what you're thinking, you're like, okay, Vanessa, lip balm. How special can that be? But hold up, I am a chapstick fiend. Like growing up, I tried everything. I tried, you know, your traditional chapstick, Burt's Bees. And do you guys remember those like EOS, EOS, little like lip balm ball things? I had like a million of them, they sucked. Okay, every single product that I've used on my crusty lips never worked and I kept having to reapply every five seconds and it was super annoying. And then I met Jason and his family swears by this stuff and I was like, okay, let me give it a go life-changing, life-altering. I am a whole new woman with this. What's really cool is that it's like medicated or like it makes your lips really tingly and I feel like it just does something with the tingle. I don't know, like I put on this puppy every single day, all the time, and it just keeps my lips really nice and supple and soft and not crusty for a long time. I have one of these scattered everywhere, so it's always within arm's reach. So I have one by my bedside table, on the bathroom counter, in my purse, in every single drawer of the apartment basically. So this is a bad boy, and if you have crusty lips like me, try this. Okay, product number two is the Coco Kind Oil to Milk Cleanser. I'm actually wearing their sweatshirt right now because I thought it was really cute and really fitting. By the way, none of these products are sponsored. I just really wanted to share the actual products I use every day and all of the products will be linked in the description box below. Okay, going back to the video, I get a lot of questions of people asking me about my skincare routine and I always joke that lol, I have really clear skin because of birth control. While that is true to some extent, I also swear by this stuff. So I personally have oily skin and so growing up I thought like, okay, oily skin, just get rid of the oil. I would use bar soap, I know, which is atrocious. And I would just do anything in my power to just get rid of the oil. But then what would happen is that my skin would overcompensate because I stripped all of its natural oils and I would just get like 10 times more oily. What's good about this is that it leaves like this oily film, like, residue and I know that does not sound appealing I don't really know how else to describe it but it kind of like leaves this lightweight oil on your skin I mean it's literally called oil to milk cleanser so yeah I feel like it cleans my skin it gets rid of like all of the disgusting oil on my face and then just leaves this like lightweight I don't really know how to describe it I feel like I'm doing a bad job at selling this product but this stuff is good really recommend if you have oily skin like me okay moving on and number three okay you guys have probably heard of this this is the brazilian bum bum cream and this is like a new package that i just got because i use this all the time and i had a restock this stuff is magical okay if you're not already make sure to moisturize your skin i moisturize every single time i step out of the shower it just you know keeps my skin nice and supple and this stuff is the best i've tried a ton of body whips body creams body lotions and this is just super super good i just put on my nails so i like can't open it but ugh. oh my god it smells so good guys okay i mean it's just lotion i don't know why i'm like showing you like it's lotion you know what lotion looks like but it smells amazing it just leaves my skin super super soft like incredibly baby's bum soft so yeah next okay kind of keeping on theme with the self-care and whatnot so this is the living proof dry shampoo and I'm sure a ton of you guys have already heard this this is like a cult favorite product on the internet and I can attest this dry shampoo is not like any other dry shampoo so I've tried all the other kinds like you know not your mother's um there's other ones I'm blanking but you know I've tried a lot of different dry shampoos 
and this stuff is like heavy duty. Okay, so I get the advanced clean dry shampoo instead of like the regular dry shampoo, but they both work super well. It's very, again, heavy duty. So it does definitely leave like that white residue and but I just kind of like scrub it in and I like put it in layers underneath my part. So you kind of like can't see it because it's like hidden, but this keeps my hair like super fresh for days. Honestly, it's kind of disgusting. I don't wash my hair for like, <laughs> days straight. But I also just like how it adds a lot of volume and kind of just like texture as well. So yeah, this stuff is really cool. I'm literally ending all these like product reviews or whatever with like, this stuff is cool. You should get it. Which one do I want to talk about next? Okay. Okay, so moving on to like makeup products and such. Number one is the Laura Mercier translucent, just like setting powder. This stuff is really good. As I mentioned before, I have really oily skin. Okay, so I will be reapplying powder at least like twice a day. Like, especially if I'm like going out or like in between filming, I'll just like with the powder brush. And this stuff is the best. It is a little bit on the pricier side. I would say. Honestly, a lot of the products are, like I know the dry shampoo and the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream are a little bit on the pricier side, like in comparison to other products, similar products, but I really feel like the price, like you get what you pay for basically. So this product is really, really good. The powder is super fine. I'm gonna spill this everywhere. Ugh, I don't even know how to show you without it like spilling. I'll do like separate product shock product shots later, but this stuff powder is super fine. I feel like it really like, obviously it sets your makeup, right? Like this stuff, <laughs> my makeup does not budge the whole day. And this is definitely one of the reasons. And I feel like it just like blurs everything as well. Like not only does it set the makeup, but it kind of like softens everything, if that makes sense. So love this stuff. Okay, so similarly, ooh, I got powder all over my couch. This is the Benefit Pore Professional Setting Spray. This also keeps everything in place all day long. So what I really like about this one is the nozzle makes the spray super fine. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that on camera, but just trust the mist comes out like really fine. So it's not like blotchy and yeah, I don't know. Excuse how disgusting this packaging is. Cause this just like rolls around in my makeup bag all the time. But yeah, so between these two products, my makeup will not move an inch. Okay, like I will go in a full face because like I'm filming during the day, etc. I'll go to like spin class or hot yoga in a full face and trust when I leave, my eyelashes have not budged, like nothing has moved. So these are heavy duty for sure. Okay, so the last makeup product on the list is the Shop Miss A Nora Lashes. So these are the ones <laughs> that I'm wearing right now. And I wear these every single day. Like I don't own another pair of lashes basically cause these are all I use. I've like tried other lashes, of course. I don't know, nothing really compares to these ones. I really love this particular style because yes, they're long and yes, I think they're like really flattering. Like you can see them. They're, they're like a good balance of like natural and like glam. It's kind of like right in the middle. So they're a great everyday lash. And the other reason I really love them is okay there's a couple number one they're incredibly lightweight like i i know i'm used to them because i wear them every day but i cannot feel them like at all not only that but the band is very like flexible if that makes sense like you can really just like move it around and it helps it like mold to your eye shape and especially as somebody who has mono lids it's kind of hard for me to find lashes that really fit my eye shape well and yeah because the band is so flexible i feel like these just suit everybody and they're also very durable i don't know if this is disgusting or not but i will re-wear the same pair of lashes for like close to a week i know that sounds kind of gross but basically like i'll take them off at the end of the day and then like the next day when i want to use them again i'll just use my fingers and like rip away the glue that i put on and yeah these last for a long time before they get crusty also, the fact that a pair of these lashes costs only $1.55 is ridiculous and so affordable, especially if you reuse them as much as I do. Okay, so the next product isn't really a brand specific product. It's more of like a generic 
thing that has changed my life. I'll just get right into it. So it is, oh, psyllium husk. Out of all of the products that I have talked about, this has actually changed my way of life, like in a very, very strong, meaningful way. I struggle a lot with digestion issues. I've mentioned that a few times, so you guys might already know that. And I mean specifically, this is getting very TMI, but I mean specifically when it comes to going number two. Um, there's been times in my life where I have not had a good poo in like over a week. Like I've even gotten, not hospitalized, like I had to go to the ER one time because it was just so bad and my stomach was like dying basically. So I've tried everything okay like i have tried over the counter like laxatives various kinds i've even tried the stuff where you stick the caplet up your butt <laughs> This is getting way too TMI. Yeah, all of it kind of just sucked. Like, I don't know if you guys have like taken a laxative before, but it's not like a good poo. It's like, like you're like clutching your stomach over the toilet, just like dying and it just doesn't come out good and you don't feel good afterwards. Um, I've tried like prune juice. I've tried like chia seeds by themselves. Like I've tried everything, okay? I've tried every product against constipation and nothing works quite like psyllium husk. Okay, so it basically is like a fiber supplement, but it makes your poos super. <laughs> I love I'm just like talking about this so openly. Okay, it makes your poos like super like good. Like I don't I don't really know how else to describe it. Like, you know, just like a good poo where you like you just feel emptied and like clear and everything is out of your system. So basically, what I do is I take one teaspoon of this and two teaspoons of chia seeds just for like added you know power and fiber and I throw that into a blender bottle with water I shake it up and I just chug that baby down every single night I do that every night that is my ritual it tastes disgusting I will say this tastes like okay you know when you're making rice and you're supposed to drain it like you just to wash your rice basically right so before you actually dump out the water to wash it that water is like very it's starchy obviously you're just collecting all the starch in the water this stuff tastes like what i would expect that <laughs> that starchy water to taste like it doesn't taste good it tastes like old cereal like it just it's pretty disgusting um the more i drink it obviously the more i'm used to it so right now i could just like drink it and it's totally fine but just warning you does taste disgusting there are two more things i do want to warn you about when it comes to psyllium husk so number one take it with a lot of water because basically what it does it like congeals the things that you're eating like it just like clumps everything together and shoots it out <laughs> so you want to make sure that you're drinking enough water when you're taking this or else it can like cause obstructions in your intestines and whatnot and we don't want that so drink a lot of water and number two when you blend it like in your blender bottle or whatever drink it immediately because like i said it clumps up and it clumps things up very fast so if you let it sit in your blender bottle for like even like five five minutes it's gonna just like thicken into this disgusting like congealed goo so make sure to just like shake it and then pop that baby down okay but yeah so like i said i take this every single night of my life and then in the morning like clockwork now my body is like okay it's time and it's it's really good so ding okay physician's choice 60 billion probiotic pills so these are really really good if you have digestion issues like me as well so along with my chia seed and psyllium husk concoction i also take one of these bad boys every single night and it just helps keep everything working smoothly so okay so this last product is kind of random i tried to do like a nice transition of like personal care skin care hair care to like makeup to like a poo intermission so this one's kind of random but this is the owala bottle excuse how like dirty it is like i use this all the time this is my go-to water bottle so what i really like about this a you can just like kind of flip this part up and it's a nice little handy dandy handle and then you click this little button Okay, so there's two spouts. So there's this one in the front, there's like two, and it's like a straw, so you just like, this is so awkward, and you're just like, ah. Okay, and then this other hole is if you wanted to like 
swig, you know, instead of like drinking it out of the straw. Also, don't mind all this like lipstick stains all over. But anyways, I feel like I'm a water bottle hoarder. Like I feel like a lot of people are. Like I just have a cabinet filled with water bottles and I don't know why because I just reach for this one. And the only times I ever use the other one is if this one is in the dishwasher. Yeah, love this bottle. I love how handy it is, how convenient. I love the design. It's just very like simple and it keeps things very cold. So Woohoo! Okay, so that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. My apologies if it was a little bit chaotic at times. This was not scripted. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna sit down and just talk about stuff. So yeah, let me know down in the comments if you've ever used any of these products and if you end up using any of the products that I talked about today, what your thoughts are, etc., etc. Okay, until next time, I love you guys. Okay, bye! Okay. <laughs> so awkward on camera. Okay. Oh, okay.